Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. We are approaching the start of the transfer window. I love transfer season. Uh, so we thought we'd do a little transfer special. The whiteboard has been, I've got to say, expertly changed. Mm. Yeah. Break from uh, like me and all the crew because there's a lot of magnets put on already. Yeah. What's the plan? All 20 teams on there. We've asked the Bay to come up with one signing that each club should be making in the January transfer window. Mm. Very, very simple. We'll go through all 20, get some reasoning. Why is um, Everton at the bottom? Yeah, yeah, why is it? What happened to the alphabet halfway yeah. through? I don't know what's happening in Everton. <laughs> 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 Everton, <laughs> Everton <laughs> above. Oh. That's actually going to take some thinking Apologies. because we have to move that magnet over. That's very well spotted, yeah. by the way. Um, but either way, we'll go through all 20 teams. Uh, you've also got some alternatives written down as well. Do, yeah, yeah, Mills, yeah. So we'll go through that, starting mm. with Arsenal. Who are you suggesting? Ivan Tony. No brainer. No uh, brainer. Yeah, I think if they want to win the league, they need a number nine. We were literally just speaking on the ad break about Gabriel Jesus. And I think all those are brilliant football. If your wingers aren't scoring goals, um, then how brilliant is Jesus? You need him to start, start scoring. Blew a few chances against Villa, uh, blew a big chance against West Ham. Mm. Uh, and Ivan Tony, it seems like from what he's posted on Instagram, he's keen. So I think Arsenal needs to get through the door. That's not a cheap deal, though, is it? That's How much is that? A cost? lot of money. And obviously, they've spent a lot already. But if they want to win the league... Brentford's <laughs> form at the minute, though, I mean, they're, they're probably wanting to keep him to, to avoid any, any problems. Quite likely, mm. but... It's a very quick turnaround to try and get someone new in the January window. If they can't find someone quick, if he does go... Money talks, though. Well... If Arsenal want to win the league, this is the, this is the kicker. Yeah, do you think he drives them over with his yeah. goal One. numbers? Do you think right. Arsenal win the league if they do sign? 100%. Wow. 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 Really? Right. Yeah. Over Liverpool? Yeah. Okay. I mean, Liverpool, we're going to come to Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's get him up. Yeah. Okay. Next standard. up, Aston Villa, obviously doing great this season. This is an interesting suggestion, um, this from you. Who have you gone with? I would like to clarify first that I do work on a transfer show, so there is some transfer insight to this one. Okay. They were linked to him for the last two summers. Um, Ollie Watkins has played so much football. They mm. do need a backup option. And almost the way Watkins plays, I know obviously he's technically a brilliant footballer, but sometimes they do sort of throw the ball up to him, hope he holds it, brings other players into the game. Antonio has the ability to do that. It's a cheap deal. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Good for the European competitions as well to have someone experienced in that. So. But he's I mean, been injured, isn't he? He's not played injured, much football this season. Yeah, how long is he out for? It's a position where, as you said, we've got Ollie Watkins. So is that one you realistically see happening? And do West Ham let him go? They haven't got many striking options either, have they? You know, he's, they he's back Bowen. training, running, I think, he's now. He's back running, but the return there. that is unconfirmed. Um, Bowen plays through the middle, Ings is back up. I think they're fine. And also, West Ham are to come, so I have a fix for this as well. OK. Put him up then, put yeah, him up. Let us know what you think. Mm. I think we've got to see Antonio before, yeah. shout there. I've not um, got any alternatives on that one. <laughs> Bournemouth. Pats and Dakar. I have been screaming for this man at Bournemouth. Uh, he's just found his form again in the champ. He's in, he's in good nick, and I think he suits what they're, what they're doing. Well, his link with his moves to Bournemouth fell through, didn't it? On yeah. that deadline day? Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. close. It's a player we know that they like. Do you think yeah, that helps that the fact that he knows that Bournemouth are a club that do rate him and that yeah. he's likely to come back in? But then the flip side of that is Leicester are doing great as well. So Yeah, but Leicester have a lot, a lot of options going forward in the And Solanke's Solan scoring a lot of goals. But you need yeah, options. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, they, they've hit form at the right time. It, it, but then again, if they, if they really want to, you know, consolidate on what they've got, then then that's the type of player. They want to be raiding the championship for those players who might come back. And potentially, you want to perhaps weaken the sides that are likely to come up from the championship. Isn't that what you did with Burnley when you took Chris Wood off them? Yeah, Burnley absolutely, yeah. mate. We did it. And, and Nick Pope uh, eventually when they went down too. So, yeah. yeah. We yeah, Dakar. Dakar's Dakar. Dakar a good shot. I think so, yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's really performing at the moment for Leicester. I, just, I, just, I, I do wonder, it depends what the morale's like at Leicester, because sometimes if you do start having a good season when you do go down, it makes you want to, you know, uh, play till the end. It's interesting to see how many of these actually happen, because I look at the first three, I can't see any of them happening personally. Tony, I think Tony's the big one. Do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think there's, there's going to be at least one big transfer. I, I just don't know, would Arsenal be keen to get him straight away or maybe wait till Yeah, I think summer? that's a good point. I can certainly see... That happening potentially maybe in the in the summer, but they always say it's harder to bring particularly strikers in in a January. Plus he's not been playing. Windows, not been yeah, playing. Yeah, I well. think Arsenal will get a striker in Jan. Yeah, because uh, it's definitely one of the couple of areas that they need to improve in. And if they're going to get someone to be a temporary fix, you may as well get the guy now. And if they, and also if they want to win the league, genuinely that is the only thing that's stopping them winning the league. Okay, yeah. okay. Brentford. Brentford on Brentford. Are we on Brentford? Yes, yeah. we're, we're on Brentford. Yeah, you get that Brentford fella. This is definitely my Brighton pick. I think it's yeah. Bellotti. It is Bellotti. Bellotti, is your... Bellotti. Right. Yeah. See the fix. Ivan Tony loses. <laughs> goes to Arsenal. Bellotti comes in. Been out of favour for a little while. Um, I but think... I think he's a very similar profile to Ivan Tony. I don't, I don't know how realistic this is to happen, but I want to clarify. I was asked for 20 transfers and I have to find <laughs> players in might the window. Happen. That might happen. Yeah. Uh, but he does want to leave. 
Um, yeah. So I feel like if Brentford do want to replace Ivan Tony, then Balotelli's a good chance. Six goals in 18 comps and all comps for Roma this season. So it's it's... Ital Italian strikers in the Premier League always worry me a little bit. There is a theory about that. It, it's they never seem to hit the ground running, and you, you need someone in January to, especially if you're replacing Tony. Um, that's the one. I, I actually follow Roma, and I, I would say that Balotelli for me is, 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 is just one of those players. He'll come on as an, on as an impact sub, even in Serie A, mm. and he still doesn't look like he's going to do anything. It's, it's like a false dawn. Even when he played for Italy, I think briefly in the Euros. He was just there, but he wasn't, he's not really... He's a purple patch player, though, isn't he? If he bagged yeah, one, well, he can bag like six and seven. Under Thomas Frank as well. I mean, he's playing under Mourinho and, and you know, some, some, some players can really fall flat under him. So if he gets a breath of fresh air... But you're not having this one yeah. by the looks of it. I'm not feeling it. I just, I just like you say, I think it's too left field for him to come to the Premier League. I think he might maybe move within Serie A or something like that, but I don't know. Brent, Brentford's a big step to come in and he's quite old as well, isn't he? Is he, was he he's 30, 30, I believe. 30, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. All right, well, let's Brentford, put it up. Brentford not signing anyone. No, you're not getting let's anyone. Put it up. Let's put it up. It's an option. It's an option. This is the one for me. Brighton. Brighton, you like this one. Dominicio Berardi and De Zerbi work together at yep. Sassuolo, and they both really get along. And I think De Zerbi's previously said that the winger that he wants Solly March to become is Berardi. Uh, now, I don't know if this happens because Sassuolo don't want to let go of him, and I've said it so many times. And also, he doesn't want to leave. He seems so settled there. But. They do need a winger. They've got so many injuries, like many teams. Yes, Smithy, Spurs have injuries. Um, and so... <laughs> didn't say anything. Yeah, Mateo, Mateo were out for six weeks. Mateo were out for six yeah, weeks. They have, you're right, Brighton it's have a good alternative for Solly March. I, I had the idea that perhaps they could go for Somerville from Leeds. Yeah. Might be an option. It's might, maybe, maybe more unbelievable yeah. for Leeds. But yeah, like, young, young player there. Yeah. Brighton always seem to, you know, fish out. Like, it says a lot that I don't know much about him, but, you know, you know fine well that if he came to Brighton, he would be tearing up the Premier League in yeah, no time yeah. at all. If you've got to Zerbi as your manager as well, I mean, I think there's something about that, isn't there? The players want to go and work with him. Uh, yeah. From the teams that are outside of the traditional top six, Brighton is your team Great coach, now. isn't he? I think especially yeah, as they've worked together in the past learn them very effectively. Well, I think, Nine yeah, goals and 13 appearances in Serie A this season, by the way. He's so, a gun man. When he's yeah. on form, he's so good. All right. Put him on there. Someone could shout as well. Some yeah. of, some some of, of it has yeah. been Read amazing. those championship teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah good shout. This uh, we got to Burnley next to we. Ian Matson, Bring him back. Yeah, bring him back. He was really important for him. I think he got 10 goal contributions in the championship for Burnley. Um, I think because of the way they play, they need full-backs that, can, that are expansive and can go forward, and he's out of favour at Chelsea. Mm. Um, I do, my, my belief is that when you're in the, in the Premier League and you're fighting, you need strikers to score goals. I just can't find more strikers that Burnley could potentially sign. Mm. Uh, and I think they did one Matson in the summer as well. They just yeah. didn't manage to get They agreed a deal, didn't they? But yeah. he, he, he... He almost didn't want to go there or wanted to stay in fact. But Chelsea also need to sell. Fight for his place at Chelsea. Yeah. yeah, true. Burnley need all the help they can get and, you know, taking it from the top teams, usually where you can maybe find something like that. Team Burnley yeah. struggled yeah. to start the season. I, I think that the, the three down there at the moment, I mean, now that Forrester have got a new manager bounce, it's going to be a real tough ask. I think Luton are the only ones that look like they've maybe got a bit more about them. They could maybe get something, but I think it's sad to say that Burnley and Sheffield United, it's not looking good. OK, yeah, let's get him out. Chelsea, intrigued to know where you're going with this one, Nube, because obviously Chelsea... How, how much money are they spending, spending now? <laughs> anyone they want. Um, <laughs> if there's one club in the league that can spend as much wow, money wow. as they yeah, like... Yeah, so yeah, even yeah. though they've spent a billion, obviously everyone quotes the billion phrase and all of that, new owners, you, you still... Because that's a big deal, that, isn't it? I think it's release clause, top of my head, is 130 yep. million euros. So the answer for you is they need to spend more, even more. Well, they still need a striker. They did all this business, but they ended up with a forward line that still can't score goals or put the ball in the back of the net. He is eventually going to move. It's absolutely inevitable. Oh, yeah. He falls out with the Napoli directors constantly and then makes up with them a week later. And Chelsea and Arsenal are going to compete for him. I think that's the general consensus. I think Tony goes to Arsenal and Azeeman goes to Chelsea. Didn't he just get a new deal? I thought he just... just yeah, but Napoli... Yeah, it's a release clause of £130 million. Oh, that, that's on the new one. Right, yeah, sorry, man. Like, so, but how much are you going to pay for Tony? Like, in a realistic world, Brentford are going to ask for... Like, 70? Yeah, 70, 80 for Tony, aren't they? You'd think. At yeah, least. but then are Arsenal likely to get a Z-man instead in this window. You don't like see the, it? Well, I, I Who's see, the more preferable I think, signing for you? Osman or Tony? Uh, Osman for sure. Like, longer term. Also, but then there's the whole thing of can he play in the Premier League. I actually think yeah. he's so well suited to play in the so Premier League. You think he'd score more goals if... He'd, he'd be the one, yeah. Yeah. Than Tony would, 100%. yeah. 100%. But if you want to win the league and you've got six months to charge for the yeah. title and you only you can't spend £120 million and you've got £80 million, then Tony's your fix. There's and a bit, okay. Chelsea needs to There's a bit of talk as well for Chelsea for Benjamin Sesko, you know, the guy who's for yeah. RB, RB Leipzig. Yeah. Young, young player. I think Newcastle were linked with it when we were getting linked with everyone and I was very impressed with what I saw and that was when he was still quite, quite raw with it. So, you know, I mean, I know Chelsea and young players, it doesn't really go hand in hand and there's a, there's a few disasters in the past where they've let them go, but um, another one 
that you could get if, if maybe not this time around, then they could do a loan deal. I think Chelsea do need to sell in order to bring in Absolutely. new players. And there's some big players that link. I mean, Conor Gallagher's one that... Especially this morning, links. seeing rumours yeah. going to Tottenham. I think with Tottenham, and do, yeah. do you think he will go? I mean, it's, Conor Gallagher's such a strange one, because six he's months top, ago... He's been brilliant for Chelsea, isn't he? He's probably he? been their best player. Most consistent player. I'd say yeah, most consistent player. Him and Palmer. Palmer, Cobham yeah. has been good, yeah. Um, I think six months ago, if you asked Chelsea fans in the summer, they were like, we don't want Conor Gallagher anymore. Like, we're done with him. He's, he's, his story here is done. And now Chelsea fans are going... He's the one player we cannot sell. So it'd be typical Chelsea to go and sell him. Yeah. Uh, then I've also put Matson up there, who I yeah. think the move was like 20 million rumoured. So they'll probably sell a couple more uh, and then have enough money to bring in someone else. I, I don't think Chelsea fans will be very happy if Gallagher went. I, th I think he's, he's, in, that, he's in, that, in, in that moment, especially with him being made captain well, at, at, the, at the moment, you yeah. know, to, to stand in. OK, let's get Osman up. Good chat, that. Indeed OK, Crystal Palace. This man has been linked to every team in the Premier League in the last yes. two windows. Hugo yeah, Ekatike. Yeah. <laughs> um, to the, the point when I think, <laughs> like, I think you've come round to the desk where we work on and gone, oh, is he moving this? No, he's still not. Yeah. Uh, he's stuck at Paris and it, they need to get him out of there for me. He doesn't get game time. They bought in Colo Moani, who plays up there. Mm. Um, he needs a move. Uh, Palace have been linked multiple times. Palace need a striker. Um, and they need goals, and so I think... He would get a hell of a reception at Newcastle. He only made <laughs> one sub-appearance. Yeah. He was linked to you for ages. He was linked yeah. to us for ages, and then him and, his, him and his agent, I think, put up quite a coded message, which basically was them two laughing and saying, enjoy, with an N, and everyone thought it was directed at Newcastle. But since then, his career has <laughs> just gone down the pan, so we, we've been laughing ourselves. It's been fun. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking that Palace could maybe make a, a bigger sign in, in Steve Cooper, in, in manager. That, okay. you know, oh, Roy's doing well, man. I don't know. I, I think it, it's it's you know teetering on the edge sometimes. If you if you want a manager who could maybe take you forward, especially with him going, I think Cooper won't be too far away from from there. I feel like there's no reason to get rid of Roy at the moment because he's doing well. If if they weren't doing well, then you go yeah. He's a one win and eight though. I think they're, they're, but, that's but where they're. Yeah, but look at the teams they've played. Do you expect Palace to win more games? Mm. That, that's kind of what happens. Is, he a, is he a suitable placement for, for Zaha? Really? Is he the type of player? That's Not really. Because they I still think, need that, don't they? I think yeah, but I think they've kind of gone past the phase of having Zaha. They're a little bit more um, there, yeah. coherent going forward. They have Eze and Elise. Um, so I think he would be the cherry on top. OK, okay. Yeah. Yeah. now next should be Everton, alphabetically, <laughs> but that's yes. inadvertently put at the end. So you, do you want to do Everton or Fulham next? What? Let's go with Everton, let's stick with it in the okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Willie Nontone, he wanted yeah. a move in the summer, he was absolutely desperate. Um, I think Everton, they played McNeil on the right and Harrison, sorry, McNeil on the left, Harrison on the right. He can play both sides. He, he doesn't look like he wants to be in the champ, to be honest. Um, and I think it'll be a cheap deal. I think mean, they were linked with like an £11 million deal. Everton obviously have spending issues. Uh, so it's a nice little fix for them. Yeah, right. I think it just, just uh, you know, going back to my point about Dakar as well, you know, if these players are kind of wondering if, if it's going to happen, I mean, Le Leeds and Leicester are pretty much nailed on. They're, go they're going to be there or thereabouts. But uh, Everton could maybe look at Sunderland's Joe Bellingham, perhaps, the Jude's brother. I know, I know the name comes with a lot of pressure, but he he's been, uh, you know, turning a few heads down there. Not just because of the name, he's actually been performing quite well as well. So another option for them. And again, Everton hit with that. With the points deduction, you know, yeah. they're st it's a good team to join because they would be level with Newcastle, I think, at the minute. Yeah, they're actually mm. playing been really, really, really it, uh, well. They've just got oh. spending issues. So Ice let's ball. put, let's put Back. you on top. You're going to have to help yeah, them out here, you, reaching friends. across. OK, Fulham next. Uh, Andre, again, a player yeah. that like, they were linked to, Liverpool were linked to. Um, I think the reasoning he didn't move is because the, the side he's with, they were in a title race, I think, or in, yeah. a, in a competition, so he couldn't move. Um, I did want to put him down for Liverpool, but I said in the summer when Liverpool linked, he's not the sixth Liverpool one, and it feels like Jao Polinia's going to go somewhere, and this is probably the alternative. And Fulham, in recent history, have got a good habit of picking players from leagues that maybe you haven't yeah. seen much of, and then bought them in, and they've done quite well. So, um, Andre. Do you think Jao Polinia leaves? I'm... I'm not, I'm, Jan, or do you think it's summer or stays? What, he's what? booking his flight to Bayern right now, man. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's seeing what the Bayern arrivals are. Through, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so Liverpool have been linked. Bayern have been linked. I haven't gotten down for Liverpool, but um, if Bayern are sniffing, they normally get what they want, and they were very close to getting him. And, that, and the, I think Bayern need an extra body in midfield. So it's affected him as well. If you can, you can tell that he's. he's just... Seen some reports though saying it's probably unlikely in January, just because they signed that new contract as well. Done the new contract, Absolutely. so it might be one that is more likely in the summer. But it'd be interesting to see. Yeah, I love Japanese, a top top player. Yeah. Um, let's get him up then and move on to your beloved Liverpool. Get me this oh, he... guy, and <laughs> we are now going to win the league. Um, Zuma Mendy. I think Faisal was on the, on here a couple of weeks ago, well, and I he, he also loves Zuma Mendy. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's not going United. Um, he thought he'd be the perfect six to distribute for United. Yeah, I mean, he's like nicknamed the Baby Busquets, and he genuinely is. Like, his ball distribution is <laughs> unbelievable. He's so good at breaking up play. 
Uh, and he also plays for a side that play a somewhat similar style to Liverpool at the moment. Um, I think his release clause is like 53 million. Liverpool yeah. need a six desperately. You, yeah. you can't keep playing McAllister in there. Endo has been outstanding, by the way, before Liverpool fans go, we've got Endo. Uh, but I do think if you want to win the league, you need a natural six in there. Uh, and Zubamendi is that guy. Do you think Liverpool are spending big? Because it's interesting you're saying about Arsenal spending big on Tony. Obviously, Liverpool are top of the league now. Do you think they need to, to spend big in general? Actually, do you think they've got enough? I feel like... like Liverpool fan, what are your thoughts? Both Arsenal and Liverpool are probably a couple of signings away from definitely winning the league. And if you've got a great chance now where City are not quite at it, we need a six Double and we need down. a left back. Now's the time. Go, go for it. Now's where you've got to smell blood and try and fix the gaps that you've got. So in if Tony goes to Arsenal and he goes to Liverpool, who wins the league? We still need a left back, so Arsenal well, still. <laughs> there's a guy, I was saying you've been linked to the guy from Bayer Leverkusen, uh, Piero Incapier. Yeah, yeah, and obviously yeah. Alonso, Alonso, Liverpool connection there. I don't think he's going to do any favours for his old club, but there's a there's a player there who you know can go centre-back. He can yeah. probably cover Simikas as well while he's out. I mean, the, the full-back problem at the minute is, that is the thing that might hamper you. I did want him, but then... I think, like someone said, that his uh, release course is close to 80 million, and we will not spend 80 million on another centre back. He's not a regular starter. Maybe get him a, a loan deal or something like yeah, that. Yeah, listen, we'll take. I only got. I only had one option, but give me him, Cappy. <laughs> give me this guy, and give me Anthony Robertson from Fulham. Then you win the league. Then we win the league. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get him up. Uh, Moving on to okay, Luton. Right. Yeah. I've got your man here. Can't, uh, believe, can't believe you're making me touch a Sunderland player. Yeah, I mean, you, you, were, yeah, right. <laughs> um, you were raving about a job a minute ago. Um, I think Luton need goals from wide areas. Uh, I really like what Luton are doing. I think they've become like the story that everyone seems to like, that they're, they're always in a game, they're always putting a fight. Uh, but I do still need them, do still feel they need like a goal scoring winger or a more dynamic winger. He's doing very well at Sunderland this season. He was linked as well in the summer. I think it was it was one of those deals that came in last minute and they nearly got him, but yeah. Seems yeah. like it's it seems because like obviously Spurs signed him very young, but he didn't have the game time, so there's a lot of promise in him there. Then he had a lot of loan moves, and it's, it's it seems like Sunderland's been a very good fit for him because of the season that he's having. Jack, Jack Clark FC, my, my mate was calling him the other day. Uh, because of how much he Yeah, did, my yeah. mate Dan was saying, yeah. yeah, he's one of the wonder kids as he calls them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's still in 23 though, Jack Clark. I think people think he's get Jack Clark up there for the Luton. And then and then move on to Manchester Man City. City. <laughs> the they are the hardest team to try and find. Yeah, they are yeah. every time. For um, although I think Nathan Aki is brilliant, I do think Alfonso Davies has been linked to multiple deals. Clear, uh, sorry, leaving Bayern. Uh, but it is a struggle because I, I honestly look at obviously Man City fans are going. We haven't got enough depth. We haven't got this, that, and the other. But where can they actually improve? And left back is probably the only position mm. on the pitch where I think. Um, they can improve and there, sorry. <laughs> Alfonso probably is the shout. Yeah. Do you think do you think it's likely that he leaves Bayern? Obviously, there has been a bit of chat, hasn't there? Linking into Madrid as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know the sentiment around Alfonso Davies and whether he wants to leave, but I think Bayern are, are one of these clubs that if a player wants to leave, they'll just go off the trot, we'll just get someone else in. They're pretty fine with letting players go. So um, can, he, yeah. uh, can he play in the Champions League afterwards though? I always think it's a bit of a weird move if you, Yeah, you can now. You, you can, can, you can you get through can, oh, well, yeah. in that case then it might, might be a go. Yeah, yeah, Alfonso for me. All right. Let's move on then. Manchester United. Man United. I mean, I had a huge list there. Huge really? List. Yeah, because you really? need so Which many position? players. <laughs> uh, yeah, literally. But I've gone with Todibo. Um, Ooh, okay. Mainly because I think part of your issue, and I think Joe will agree, is that you can't play out from the back unless Alessandro is there. Yeah. Uh, and I think he would allow you the flexibility of playing out on both sides because he's very good in possession, loves to drive out with the ball. Um, I'm surprised no one's bought him yet. I think Spurs have just been linked to him. Spurs are heavily linked with him. United linked Spurs with him. Spurs pushing yeah. forward to it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It was difficult yeah. though because United need a striker as well. Like you you've need... got the Sajim factor there as well, haven't you? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The point so... that um, you've made makes though, it's interesting to see what you prioritise in the window. I mean, obviously, like with Tottenham, we haven't got yeah. a fit centre back. I think we know that Spurs will probably buy a centre back. Well, where do you feel that United need? Is it a centre back? Is it a forward? Is it a winger? Because there's obviously various areas that you I think you need a striker. Really, I think United need a striker. That yeah. You yeah. Well, yeah. I think just personally. Personally, you know, we, we saw the uh, pre-match with um, uh, Eric Ten Hag yesterday and he was talking about Martial still being ill, still not being yeah. fit. So if Harlan does pick up an injury, there's, there's literally not a striker at the club unless you play Rashford through the middle. Um, I think United probably will look to do some sort of deal yeah, there. But I, I, I think Tadebo's a good shout. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah, great shout. definitely an option you, there. Um, I definitely think Tadebo will end up in the Prem. It's interesting to yeah. see what club he goes to. Um, Emil, should we let you lead on Newcastle? Yeah, well, although it's New Bay's pick, I want to. What do you think? This. What do you think of yeah. this? I mean, I mean, this this is one of those names that has been battered around since uh, last summer. Um, yeah. It does already sound like initial talks are being made. There's a little bit of an issue with the, the the fee of this. I think there's, there's quite a high fee, and Newcastle obviously working within the limits of the FFP and everything like that that we've had to learn so much about in this last season. But um, yeah, I mean, given that we've we've had the situation with Tenali, uh, central midfield at the moment is looking a bit uh, run out of steam, you know, 
Longstaff's a big confidence player and, and when it's not going our way, then that, that's the issue. I think the, the thing with Phillips at the moment is just the game time. Eddie Howe, and you see the intensity that we play at, it, it might take him a bit of time to bed in at the club. Howe famously doesn't play the, the new signings immediately, un, unless it's like Botman, I think, has been the only one who came in from mm. the start. But with Phillips, yeah. I mean, he I, needs I, the game time as well, Calvin Phillips, doesn't he? Oh, like, yeah, he yeah, needs yeah. that game. Well, he, I mean, Pep so himself said, like, like, goes I'm to really Euros. sorry. Yeah, it's just in that press conference, isn't it? Yeah. Pep was even apologetic for lack of game time probably because there's so much talent in his area. Should we get it out then? Um, yeah, so come up like, that one. Yeah, like that one. Let's go on to Forrest then. Nubaid, who have you picked for Forrest? Stuttgart striker Garassi, who mm. United have been linked to. 17 yeah. goals in 14 games mm. uh, in Bundesliga. Proper, proper striker. Yeah. One of these guys I think is blossoming really late, but a lot of people... Yeah, he's 27. Yeah, but a lot of people in Bundesliga predicted that he'd be very good this season, so I feel like it's something that's been coming. Uh, I obviously can't say I've watched him every single week, but um, Forrest will need goals. Obviously, Chris Wood, yes, he scored that hat-trick. <laughs> um, but that, if you want to stay up in the Premier League, you need goals, and he's probably a solution. Yeah, second top scorer in the Bundesliga yeah. behind and Harry 17 Kane. 17 million euro release um, so let's get yeah. him up. We'll have to fly through, through a few... A f yeah. Fly you right? through <laughs> a few of these. Sheffield United. I want to say that Spurs. That Spurs, right? definitely. Oh, yeah, that Spurs. Yeah. We've got Keith Moore here. We're all out of order yeah. here. Keith Moore. Moore. Um, new gaffer in. Loves playing the ball up to his forwards. Keith Moore's out of favour at Bournemouth. It feels like a perfect fit. Keith Moore at Sheffield United. Hit it long, win flick on. Danny Let's Ings as well you could get for Sheffield United. I love the idea of a classic. Classic striker for Wilder, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, he's not bad yet. Um, Tap Sober for Spoiler. Tottenham. You yeah, need, links. You need centre-backs, man. Yeah. Um, it was between Toribo, Tap Sober and one other that came up in, yeah. in, in sort of the research. But yeah, Tap Sober's the one. Yeah, yeah I, I def, I def, I def, not going to be cheap though. Conor Gallagher, I think. I no. think so do you think Conor Gallagher does? Do you think that happens? It's it's one of those where I feel as though now's the time to strike with Chelsea. If you could, if you could push them enough to to make a, a deal, you know, you you don't know if the Burnley one's going to happen. Uh, I think that you know Gallagher's the type of player who they, they might just might just go for it. Maybe I think Conor Gallagher would really fit in Ange team yeah, as well. Yeah. Works extremely yeah. hard off the ball. Can imagine him in one of those sort of eight roles. It's both for Chelsea, doesn't it? Work, work for Potch or work for Ange. I mean, it's like it's like a nice problem to have, isn't it? For yeah. Do you think he starts because you've got Basuma, Bentancur? Well, he does that minute because they're all none of them are available. But when they're all so available, though. Fit. Well, I, yeah. I think that's. I mean, it's the injuries again, by the way. It's, it's difficult to know, isn't it? But I think definitely think he'd be a player that would play a lot. Yeah, but he plays a lot of Chelsea as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, get him up. West Ham. West Ham. Uh, West Ham, I had uh, Acuna um, yeah. okay. linked a few times. Although I do think uh, Emerson's actually having a brilliant season. Mm. Uh, he's probably the natural upgrade. OK. And finally, Wolves. Che Adams. Che I was Adam. stuck for Wolves. I really like Wolves this season. I think yeah. they've been unbelievable, yeah. unlucky really in a lot of games. Um, I think I, there'll come a point when they might run out of goals. And Che Adams is one of these players, that high-pressing player. They were linked to uh, him as well, weren't they? Linked to him as well, yeah. yeah. So Che Adams. scoring a lot of goals for them. It yeah. a great season. Yep. Yeah. I had him on my bench the other day. Did you? OK. I mean, also, just critique that then, because it was New Bay's list. Happy with most of them? Uh, they're all going to happen. That's it. That's it. This is. Yeah. You, you heard it here first. All twenty transfers, best transfer window. If you ever. could pick one that you think will happen, who do you go for? Um, I think that Jack Clark to to Luton is is, 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 is a okay. good shot. I think it's a realistic one. Well, let us know what you think at home. There is confirmation of one player that every Premier League club needs to sign. Let us know what you think.